morning everyone welcome to my daily dose of narcissism yeah there's a couple of good ones in here this one's good the white ants have only eaten the sapwood it's good and dead it's hard as steel they won't eat like I said they won't eat the heartwood on these old these old gums yeah, we'll get some nice posts out of that one. Probably should have bought a bigger chainsaw, but... See how the little wood boss goes. <laughs> I have to drive home and get my 461 yet. Beauty. Tape measure. It's on the back of the tractor. That's good solid wood. That'll do. that bit no that's good solid timber mate they've only eaten the sapwood yeah. off the outside that's it beautiful solid posts huh 
Many more. No, nah, it's got all lumps and bumps and shit. I'll leave that bit, we don't need that. I'll start you bastard. It's leaning that way anyway, but I was hoping to uh, push it this way. That's better. There we go. That's a beauty. Nice posts. Ideal tape measure. Jesus, how did we cut that too? Oh. Yeah, that's better. Ben. He bit you again, did he? <laughs> You're not having much luck today, are you? Imagine Rolly in the bush here. Ah. <laughs> oh, what's going to bite me? What is there any safety? He'd be worried about bloody everything. <laughs> He'd run home for a tin tam, that's right. <laughs> Wouldn't you, Rolly? You go, nah, I'm not going down there. There's snakes and spiders. Shane's already been stung, that's it. I'm going home for a Tim Tam and a coffee. <laughs> Enough. Pack some, got to pack it now for the crowbar. You get a pack of crowbar, eh? Yeah, we need to find a new crowbar.
Oh, the other way was probably took about 45 minutes to hold, didn't it? <laughs> it was a bit slow. <laughs> It was the world's most useful auger, but it's been fixed now. Yeah. It took two months to fix, you'll probably have two cows left out of a hundred if... <laughs> we didn't know that. Well, it was only doing about six RPM a minute. Now it's doing, now it's doing about 60 as it should. Yeah. Pretty useless. But we really should have made Rolly do this when he was here. <laughs> I don't think he would have felt this humidity. <laughs> but credits where it's due, he did do that fencing up there. Yeah. We did, did do some fencing while he was here. Yep. Which is remarkable for an Englishman <laughs> in this heat. Well, he's almost earned his apprenticeship. He's almost, eh? He's almost becoming an Australian, isn't he? <laughs> Just. He's still a bit soft, but we've got to work on that. <laughs> that was a good one, mate. That auger's walk, working heaps better now, eh? Yeah. And if you're wondering why we're putting heavy posts in, not just running star pickets, because as you can see, the fence line snakes a lot along the road here. So we're just putting heavy posts on, like the corners on the change of direction, so we've got straight runs of um, star pickets, as you can see. From post to post it's straight runs of star pickets and it just makes the whole fence line in general stronger and plus it's aesthetically pleasing we like the look and you're probably asking oh them termites are going to eat them posts in no time no they're not this is australian hardwood these have been laying in the bush for decades and no the white ants don't eat it it's too hard we don't need to put concrete once you pack dirt down it, it dries like concrete anyway as you can see, them posts aren't going anywhere. And that's how we do things in Ozland. We've seen straight offences. <laughs> well, wow, it's lucky I've seen straight offences. But, how do you fence against it up in that, mate? Try dealing with those anyway. You know, we've done, we're doing, you know, it's the best we can do along this ridge line here, along this road. It really is. There's nothing wrong with that, mate. Like I said, we've got straight runs of state st star pickets between the posts, so it's fine, mate. Don't need to keeping the customers in anyway. That's it. <laughs> it's keeping people out and the customers in. Like you on a shovel, eh? So you want to put a gate here for our for our poor old neighbour to go come in and out of? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him locked in there. Oh, I'm a bastard, man, aren't I? You're a horrible person, Lanyon. Uh... Happy? Off the way. Oh, there's a bit of 
bit soft there. Do you know what Shane said, Pete? He said, no, don't put a gate there. Lock him in. Don't oh, let, fuck off, you don't, said that. Don't let him out of here. Lock yeah, the old bastard in there. He's a terrible bloody person. Uh, I said, let's put a gate.